BDSM mozaik szó első betűje a kötözést jelenti. Ez lehet egy lájtos megkötés is, akár egy nyakkendővel, de van ennek művészi szintje is, mint például a japán Shibaru, ahol már professzionálisan kötöznek és tesznek mozdulatlanná kiszolgáltatottá valakit. Gyakran felfüggesztett pozíciókban. Ennek a szexuális jelenségnek Japánban például hagyománya van, rituáléja, míg a nyugati társadalmakban ez sokkolja az embereket. Sokszor az erőszakhoz kötik. Miért izgatja a kötözés a narcisztikust? Well, um... Shibari, which is a part of the Kanbuki, is uh, not exactly bondage. It uses ropes, like in Western bondage. But the emphasis is not on bondage. The emphasis is on aesthetic values. The human body is used as a sculpture. The ropes are very special and they have aesthetic value. It is a work of art. A work of art. And the aesthetic value in Shibari, or more, more precisely Kanbuki, the, the, the aesthetic value is critical. It's not so much violence, although uh, some forms of uh, Kanbuki, some uses of Shibari, which is the tying part, the Shibari is the tying, they are, uh, they are damaging the body sometimes. You can damage the body, definitely. Neurologically, the nerves, you can damage some nerves and so on. But this, Absolutely not the main intention. Uh, bondage, Western bondage, is about dominance. It has no aesthetic values that I'm aware of. It's about dominance. It's about power relationships, power matrices. Uh, it's about, in extreme cases, replacing one's will with someone else's will. Uh, it is the outside symbolic uh, representation of a power relationship between two people, a grid power relationship between two people. I'm saying symbolic because the vast majority of Western ties can be opened very easily, even by the person who is tied. You know? Not so with Japanese. Japanese ties can never be opened by the, by the person who is hog-tied, never. It's a critical difference because in, in Western tradition, The equipotence, the equal power, is preserved even in the tying. In Eastern tradition, the relationship is clear and it is a collaboration of two people in creating a human sculpture with, ever, with everlasting message of beauty. And so therefore it's an art. Now, narcissists are going to misinterpret Japanese practices as forms of super extreme dominance because the body is distorted and hung and you know and they're gonna love it because it looks like this this is the this is the, the real McCoy this is torture they're going to interpret it as torture which would horrify Japanese mm. and so many narcissists practice this kind of things and couple it with actual violence, like nipple pinchers and drawing blood and vampirism and so Shibari and, uh, took a very ugly, um, decadent, deformed form in the West because it's been hijacked by violent people, aggressive people, psychopaths, narcissists, hijacked, coupled with real violence, real damage, and made into a sick, malignant art form, uh, form of the original artistic practice. So, narcissists would, narcissus therefore does not engage in bondage. As I said, bondage is consensual. Bondage is to please the partner as much as to please yourself. Usually, actually, mostly to please the partner. <laughs> You're just an instrument. The dom is an instrument in this case. And of course, it's not an artwork like the Japanese. Uh, so, what's left? What's left is again the, the rope. Narcissists don't engage in bonding, they engage, engage in roping. They engage in hostage taking. They engage in kidnapping. Kidnappers also tie, you, tie your hands with the rope. Would you call that sexual? Sexual. It's not sexual. 
many, I mean, a mother can kiss her son and then she can kiss her lover. In both cases, it's a kiss. The context is very important. So using a rope doesn't make it bondage. And narcissists do not do bondage. They do, as I said, hostage taking. And then they use the incapacitation of the victim to inflict severe pain and damage, non-consensual in many cases. We have many, many stories, uh, starting with looking for Mr. Goodbar, we have, uh, which was a, a book and a movie about uh, essentially this. We have many cases where it starts with, I mean, the, the, the woman thinks it's bondage, but it ends very badly. She, she ends up in the hospital and so on because the narcissist lost it and used the fact that she was bound to inflict severe damage on her. It's very dangerous, absolutely. All these practices in the hands of narcissists have become cancerous and are extremely dangerous. I would never dare to have BDSM session with narcissists or psychopaths. Never. Ever. Because he doesn't see it the same way as a you know, normal participant. 